Hey, what is up guys? Rancidax TV here back for another video. So I just made a new installation guide video guys that would help fix the play protect errors and this um, annoying uh, notifications that says requires an action or something like that. So if you haven't watched that and you're getting that error, please make sure to uh, go to the description of this video. So I'll put down the link of that video so you can uh, do the steps and fix that first. And for this video guys, after uh, resolving those errors, I am going to show you how you could still use the updated play services on your phone and still able to use, you know, all the uh, applications that's, uh, that are available from Play Store. So basically, you don't need to worry anymore for getting the play protect services um, so long as you will follow my instructions, of course. So I've been waiting for a uh, a solid, you know, solutions that would come up online, but I'm still not showing or seeing anything that would help you guys. So mine is a bit uh, tricky and uh, definitely would uh, need some time to, you know, follow the steps and work on to make it work as well. So I hope you guys have enough time to follow this. And if you're interested, let's go ahead and start. Alright, so we are back. Now, I have the file link down in the description below as well. Uh, this should be named as this one here. RDTV for latest play services trick. So, just download and extract that and you should see these files here so the first thing you need to install guys is this app that i made uh or modified for you guys so and again i'm so sorry that my face is on there so again i'm not proud with my face it's just there for you to know that that is the app that we needed for this process so just open it up allow all permissions and the password rans tv 2021 say okay agree and then also inside a folder we have a settings file which you can go let me just go back to uh, instruct you guys properly so at the upper right hand three dots thing there click on it go to settings and then go under here backup and import settings then locate the folder where you have extracted the file uh, let me just search for mine here mine was under that RDTV thing folder there, there we go and just look for the rdtv.xml file click on it and you're done and then uh, just leave it here for the meantime okay and then pinch your screen inwards like you're trying to edit your wallpaper or add a widget so definitely we will be adding a widget here so just look for the one that says um, rdtv this one here and this icon uh, just drag it anywhere you want it I would highly recommend you put it in front of the uh, the main um, you know this main uh, desktop uh, page that you have for your phone so every time it will be easier for you to just go back and click uh, to turn on or turn off this thing here so okay it's already there so let's try and check if it's working so just click on it and then go to the not notification here click the the one that says enforcing rules say okay okay and basically uh, that's it and again setting up this um, app here guys should be right after you have just installed the GMS from my uh, previous video okay so you won't get confused of uh, where you are at at this point so again if you haven't uh, followed that uh, tutorial make sure to go in the description of this video there's a link there go there install GMS first 
and then next to this video as well all right so let's turn off this one for now so we have just made sure that this works so if you turn this one on you will see the shield um, icon on top and this uh, key like icon uh, like the, the VPN icon something like that so this just creates like a local VPN guys to route all the traffic into the app so it would know you know which ones to look for basically that's just it so turn off for the meantime and right now we will proceed to our next file which is the number one APK file here so what you need to do guys is to go to the settings go under system and update date and time turn off set automatically and set the date back just a year behind okay after that go back to your folder and install this APK file so just wait for it actually it would be better to turn on this one as well while it's installing actually so make sure you do that okay so there it's installed now let's check here under apps apps and then google google services now it should be under 21.15.13 okay so now that it's uh, installed go back to settings to uh, fix the date and time so set automatically and that's done and our shield here is still turned on okay now next thing to do is to go to Play Store if Play Store does not load make sure to turn off this shield close reopen Play Store once it loads fine Turn on the shield again open Play Store and then install this um, app play services info the one that says from Weberdo Weberdo something like that so I'll just uninstall and reinstall it for you guys so you would see okay and sometimes there's just a delay with the uninstalling Part, so I'm just gonna close reopen hopefully it will do this as quickly as possible but it seems like it's not so let's try again or maybe we have to turn off the shield for now I could have just uninstalled it first before doing this but anyways guys uh, if you don't have it you should not be getting that error so turn on and then go back to Play Store install this Play Services Info application should just take couple of minutes but it's taking too long why is that let me just close reopen play store and check there we go now open it up and make sure again that our shield here is turned on okay open the app we just installed go to play store of course choose play store and update the services it usually takes time as well to uh, get this installed so just be patient In, and sometimes if you think that it's really taking long because sometimes this screen really um, shows delayed information so just make sure to uh, close Play Store 
let me show you how okay I'm just gonna wait for a minute more perhaps okay so right now I'm thinking it's just delayed probably so I'm gonna close Play Store go back to this app and open it up again and there you go so so long as you don't see option to install it or update that means it's already updated now to check go to settings uh, apps apps search for Google and now click on this now we should be at 21.3916 some would be um, 21.3914 that's fine it means you're updated and again if you go back to the uh, app and uh, open the update for play services you shouldn't see anymore the uh, option to update anyways we're done there okay now very important thing guys okay so if you have Google uh, apps installed already or if you don't have it yet uh, right after you install them of course right after we just did the update for the play services make sure to go back to settings and go to the date and time again turn it off for setting automatically and then this time set it to like one step ahead for the year say okay and by the way guys some of your apps may show error that's just normal anyway for for whatsapp um, I'm not sure if you know it, it fixes right away once we put it back to the uh, correct date but if not you may need to uninstall it or restart your phone but it's critical um, well I will explain later guys okay whenever you restart the phone there's steps that we need to do in order for this uh, to not break because Google will um, detect and uh, you know put that error back to your um, GMS so later we will go to that but for now so now that we have set the date to 2022 or the, or the year I mean launch all your Google Apps like the YouTube Gmail if you have Chrome launch them and then once everything is launched make sure that they're launched in the background put back the date to the latest where's that there you go all right set automatically and then now turn off the shield and you can now go ahead and open let's say YouTube you should be able to use it as normally okay YouTube uh, what else uh, I can go to maps uh, where's maps no 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 that's Gmail Gmail is fine maps there you go and then once they load fine you can close them well I'll just close I'll just close everything out here and you can just launch them normally without getting the errors okay so now these are the things that you need to remember guys because you don't want to get the error again because once that happens you will start from the top like reinstalling the GMS to remove the error and then back to here so you don't want that to happen right but if it happens of course there's the video already that I have uploaded you go back to that video fix it and then here and then it should be fine again but if you want to use you know as long as uh, you know you, you have the apps here and you don't want to repeat the whole process again and again so just make sure to follow my instructions and you'll be fine I've been using this for days now since this uh, started and uh, you know before I have to share this of course um, since there's no simpler um, let's say solutions yet out on the internet as I've checked so I decided to share it to you guys so you won't have that um, well so you will you will have the option still to use the latest play services so again uh, this may take um, you know time for you to do 
it also took me time as well to set up but right after that so long as you just keep in mind all the things that I will be uh, telling you guys right now to avoid it, the the error from happening again then you should be good okay all right so you have already um, set the uh, the device to still use the latest play services again let's go back here and show you what version I have there's no camera trick here or something okay I've been uh, recording this directly from my phone so totally up to you if you would uh, believe this or not but we are now on 21.39.16 and I can use maps I can use YouTube without any problems now I will show you guys every time you need to install a new app from Play Store you need to do this okay so launch Play Store once it's launched turn on this shield search for the app you need in this case I need Chrome so I'm gonna install Chrome some of the steps here may might be just exaggerated guys but trust me this is the safest way to do this so you won't get the uh, play protect error and repeat the whole process that's totally my point here and uh, you know if you do this then again you'll be fine all right waiting to have the Google Chrome installed now do not open the app right away okay so since that has already been installed go back to settings now you don't really have to do this like I mean each app that you like install the first time you will have to do this right but if you want to do this uh, process once per you know um, batch perhaps like if you think of like apps that you you're gonna be needing on your phone make sure to install them all of them install them and then go to the uh, system and updates here under settings date and time uh, turn off set automatically and then here for the the year 2022 and then open all the apps that you just installed like the Chrome in this case I'll just launch it um, again all the apps that you just installed okay so the previous ones that you did already that's fine but let let's just assume I have just installed um, maps YouTube Gmail alongside with the Chrome and then once they are launched in the background go back to system and updates again to fix the, the time and date once fixed you can go back to each of the apps they should work just fine of course you have to turn off this shield so they could load fine as you can see I can use my Chrome without any problems now and that's it guys hello my friends Lorenz Dykes TV here and if you like my video please smash that like button share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for your help here's how you do it boom bada bim bada boom and if you are on your phone here's how you do it boom bada bim bada boom thank you and see ya in my next videos peace